Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here with Daily Vlogs. If you know this video, make sure you come back every single day. I like weirdly want to get to 7,000 subscribers and like you guys know us like we don't like concern ourselves with our subscription account or like our view count or anything. We just live our lives trying to live our best lives but like we're kind of close. I'm like I just want to get there you know. And we've been where we are for so long <laughs> that it would be like oh my gosh we finally did it. <laughs> It's time for Teddy to go down for a nap. I just like accidentally went into a bunch of work. Like I was like, Sarah, I'm gonna go to the boys' room and take my like one 30 minute meeting over two hours later. Yeah. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. We did it, we're here. Jamesy has been so into Monsters, Inc. lately. And I love it. James has always been like a movie lover and his reactions and stuff are so awesome. And like they get even better as like he understands more and gets older. Um, but anywho, we are planning our weekend ahead. It's Friday, we're finally on the, like we're totally healthy. Um, but we have been talking about doing a no spend month again. Um, and if you know, last time it wasn't, it wasn't 100% successful, but it definitely like changed. Like we, we, did, a, we did a good job. Um, the trouble is now it's like in Chicago in the winter, you have to do stuff inside and everything costs money. And so, I don't know, I know we still want to do like want to have our mindset to be not to spend as much um but then like that's like give and take of what we like we can't do everything there's disney on ice going on in chicago right now we really want to go to a uic men's basketball game which is our alma mater and our family was super has been super involved in athletics there since my dad he's he's actually in the hall of fame there for baseball um and was super involved in basketball we were season ticket holders, and I really want to bring the boys there this season. Um, and then there's Valentine's Day, and so like, I don't know, I think we might just need to talk about like what we want to prioritize. We also have cash that we pulled from the cruise, like we had cash for the cruise to like tip as much as possible, and we have some leftover, so I'm like, what if we did no spend, but we just kept this, this amount of cash as like what we can spend to have a little bit of extra fun because so then there's like a constraint to it i don't know on one hand i'm like we are going to be moving soon and it's our last time like last few months in this apartment and in our neighborhood i'm like i want to soak it all up but balance i just i also feel like even though we're moving we're still gonna be here a ton it's not like this grand finale like we plan on living here just as much as florida so I don't want to have that mentality of like, I don't know, things being the last because it really isn't because we're going to be here in May. <laughs> so like, um, I don't know. I just, I had to, I had to talk to somebody about my emotions. So I pulled out the camera. You know, Teddy just casually stands here, pulls himself up and plays at the table now. Right? How? How? It's too big? You're supposed to stay tiny forever? Routine win for today is actually putting away the dishes from the dishwasher during the boys' lunch. They're just over here playing independently, contently. Try not to make eye contact. Um, so during their lunchtime, like I said, I got the dishwasher emptied and I chopped up some lettuce and I cooked some pasta to have like at the ready for like easy pasta salad or easy normal salad for Peter and I for lunches. That's a new goal I have is to like fuel Peter and I better during the day. We're very much so dinner people. Um, but anyways, 
I wanted to share with you guys this great playlist I found on Spotify. It was, I just searched like Disney instrumentals. And instead of it being like instrumental version of like Disney songs you know, it's like a lot of the score of Disney movies. And it's just great for background sound, especially when we're trying to like calm down before I rest or even during lunch I had it playing. Um, I'll link it below. It's been so lovely. I'm having a good, I'm having a good day and it just feels good after a chaotic week. Do we start the vlog today? Yeah. Is this part of the vlog? Sure. Hey vlog. Hey. I sat down for a meeting earlier and I forgot that I didn't, I've been doing my hair more because it's really long so I don't like to wear a hat when it's long because it doesn't fit because my big head. So I've been doing my hair. I forgot I didn't do my hair today because it's Friday and I sat down for like, I took a break for lunch, got, went back to meetings, I sat down. Luckily it was just my direct boss who's like my buddy. Like we're, we're, we're pals, we're friends. And this other guy from this IT department before like five other people joined. And I sat down, turned the camera on, saw my hair was like, <laughs> instantly turned the camera off. And my boss was like, don't worry, Peter. We saw your crazy hair, go get your hat. Cause I wore a baseball hat to work today. Set up the ball pit for the first time with Teddy going in it with James. How fun is this? Yay! We're watching Balance Baby. I'm like going to Disneyland on YouTube. Whoa! Jamesy made this cool tower and he's filling it with all other toys. And we're gonna decorate for Valentine's Day. What's this? Should we get some candy and put it in there? We're watching our November vlogs. After seeing the Ballengers go to Disney, I was like, does, does James even realize we vlog? I don't think so. All right, I am cooking dinner. We are gonna make some chorizo bowls, but they're going to have my favorite of all time. Greek chickpeas with parsley and cumin. Um, these are from Trader Joe's. I have never baked them before to make them crispy. So they get a little chunky in the can. So I took them out. I'm gonna stir them up real good. Get them on the parchment paper and bake them for 20 to 30 minutes at 425. Next, I'm going to cook some brown rice and crushed tomatoes. I did this full box of crushed tomatoes and then I filled this up halfway with vegetable broth and that's what I'm gonna cook the rice in. I'm also going to add in some garlic and onion powder um, and oil before, before I get it cooking. So get it boiling and then simmer it covered for like 15, 20 minutes. Alrighty, we got black beans going. They're just heating up. I am going to put this seasoning over the beans. I did two cans of beans. So this is gonna be another topper. The main protein is the soy chorizo, but that doesn't mean the black beans can't taste delicious. Alrighty, starting out, starting out the chorizo pan with some rough chopped onions, salt, pepper, and fresh garlic. So here's the soy chorizo. I did add a little bit of veggie broth to keep it nice and hydrated. Our chickpeas are done. Some look a little overdone, some look a little underdone, but they taste really good. So happy with that. This is what we will be topping our bowls with. Pico de gallo, guac, chopped jalapenos, and then this is that chilongo sauce, which is vegan mayo, lemon juice this time, Tabasco sauce, and seasoning salt. I have a little bit of a sorry news for us. Um, I looked back at the package for the rice and it is actually a situation where you're supposed to simmer it for 45 to 50 minutes. Um, so we're going to eat and then maybe have rice after because it has been cooking a decent amount but it's just like everything else is done because I thought it was a 15 minute -er. Um so yeah, I will compile a bowl and show you how they turn out. And if I hadn't said, I just chopped up some romaine hearts and then I put lemon juice on it. So it's got a little flavor of its own. And there she blows. Looks pretty good. It should have had rice on it too, but we'll have that later. What do you think, James? 
His version is like full avocado, tomatoes, and then the meat and beans. Mm-hmm. And Teddy's the bean life. He's, oh, he's, he's mimicking James. Okay, bye, bye, bye. Mm. Yay! All right, so this is going to be a two-parter. Um, we might be doing two-parters more frequently between now and when we move back to Florida because one, life's busy. Two, my work is busy. Three, um, I think a lot of these, we're going to have days during the week especially that like, we're gonna be just like, hey, researching to find somewhere to live, researching how to get down to Florida. Other days we're just like, hey, by the time I'm done with work, we have dinner, get the kids ready for, if it's like a bath night and cleaning up night kind of thing, um, it'll just be too late, you know, to be doing much. So uh, this is gonna be another two-putter. Vlog will go up the, tomorrow. Um, but we wanna make sure we make good efforts not to have more than two on that. Um, Cause then it also becomes like a huge thing to edit as well. So, we are, after the kids went to sleep, we watched a couple episodes of Ted Lasso. We are halfway through season two. Really loving it. Sarah's loving it. And then tomorrow, we actually have some something fun that we haven't done in a long time. We have vlogged this before, but we haven't since James has been alive. So it's the first for the kids, and I can't wait. It's good to be home. Good morning. We're so happy that you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, we hope that you will come back tomorrow. We have just escaped our apartment. We're in the car. Um, they're actually having it viewed today by a prospective renter um, after we move out. So they said we could stay there, but we just felt more comfortable leaving. Um, and so we're gonna go and uh, pick up a little something for us to just munch on in the car and um, we do have Eve both the kids um, so it should only be like an hour they said I don't even know how it's gonna take an hour um, well the hour is the window I think they probably gave that time like maybe they're not trying to it. yeah um, so yeah we'll we'll be back there soon but just a quick little drive around the neighborhood right, here we are fancy plants it's in the neighborhood right off Broadway so we just are parked here I'm gonna go run in and grab some to eat and drink. This thing is honking. I didn't even realize when I went in there that I was wearing this hat. And as they gave me the bag, they're like, love the hat. Cause it's a vegan joint here in Chicago. Why did I put Jane in the outfit I want him to wear for the day? He's gonna get messy. Uh, because we're messy folk, the Brook Hearts. Here's Peter's scone. I already took a bite out of it. And it's so good, it tastes like Christmas. James, he's working on the other half of this chocolate croissant. And it is massive and so, so good. Teddy's having some too. And here is a look inside my croissant sandwich. It has just egg and satan bacon on it tomato and mixed greens and it is honestly <laughs> so so good like I wish I could eat this every day it is very very good yay we're home <laughs> yay and, and actually that was plant-based sausage it was so good it was just like so flavored I can't get over how good it was I was kind of like I'm not a big egg person so even like just egg I'm kind of like we're gonna go back home now. Yes. Did you like the sandwich? Yeah, I thought it was great. I want my own now. I know. I wish. I wish we got three. All right, we got Bluey on. We got a great episode. Ooh, sing it, James. Sing it. Got a chocolate on his face still. Why are you wearing that outfit? Hmm. I don't think we said what we're doing, have we? I don't think so. We are. Going to UIC men's basketball game. Hey, oh, we are. Alma mater. It's our alma mater. I got my UIC Flames shirt at Polo on. This was actually Sarah's dad's shirt. Um, so yeah, we're going to the game. The boys have never been. The I grew up going. Sarah grew up going. We both graduated from there. I, yes. by the skin of my teeth, graduated from there. I worked with athletics. Sarah worked with athletics. She spent many hours in the pavilion, which is where the 
My sister Baseball cheered. Court, yeah. Christina and Sarah, Christina and Jenna cheered. A lot of UIC love in the in the family, so we're going there for one o'clock game. So we're getting ready. We're gonna get back in the car. Eve's not coming. They don't allow Eve dogs in. Look at shirt. When did we even get that? That was like. That's from one of you guys. It was, yes. it was a long, long time ago. UIC. For uh, the pride of Illinois in Chicago. Yeah, take that Champagne Urbana thinking you're. So, Ch University of Illinois, Champaign Urbana, U of I, had the audacity many years ago to put up a billboard saying they were Chicago school. What kind of idiotic nonsense is that? Wow. It's three hours south of here. UIC is University of Illinois at Chicago. It's in the city bounds. It's right where the Chicago fire started. Literally. Literally, that's why we're the flames. So U of I, step it. You have a degree from U of I? Sorry. Not a Chicago school. You have a UIC degree? Booyah. He's also repping Mickey Mouse. Mom, 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 mom. Well, that is special right there. Little James Ryan Brookhart. Going to the UIC Pavilion for his UI first UIC Flames game. Really wish his grandma and grandpa were here coming to the game. Got a little Teddy snoozing. For that the halftime show. <laughs> the dancers. These kids are chomping on some pretzels. I think James has learned to pick off the little pieces of salt one at a time. Mm. We're back in the car. James is pressing buttons. We made about 75, 80% of the way through the game. They are winning. Sarah needs to change Teddy's diaper. There was no, no changing, changing pads in, in either bathroom. So we'll make do. Yeah. And hopefully some kids fall asleep on the drive home. We're gonna take the long scenic route on Halstead to the north side. Hey, how are you doing that? Bye. Keys aren't even in the car. Is Is James asleep? He's snoring. He's asleep. To 
tonight we're having the soy chorizo as tacos. I also we have black beans, so I made a black bean taco. All different kind of fixins, and the rice is finally done and able to enjoy tonight. What? We'll go back in the living room once we eat, okay? Check it out. When was the last time the entire Brookhart family left on foot together in our out of our apartment? We're running a quick little errand. We got the little dweebs with us. What do we need? We need like Valentine's stuff for candy. Eve, Valentine's candy. Yeah. Just a couple it. things. Yeah, but we're all good. We all decided to go out together since it's a scaldingly hot 40 degrees out in Chicago. So much. Our coat is unzipped. No hat or nothing. <laughs> Okay, here's our little Valentine's candy display. Simple. We are sticking to being plant-based at home, so we did not get Hershey Kisses to fill that. Um, we still have two vessels that could be filled. They need to be like wrapped candies. And so I'm gonna be on the lookout for something plant-based for those. But everything else is nice and full and festive. And this just makes me feel like my mom. Something she did was make things special, and that's exactly what I hope that my kids will say about me one day. So, simple as like a little candy display. I don't know, means a lot to me. And maybe that's just because I love candy, but I'm very happy that we did this. I started prepping ingredients for the Ted Lasso biscuits over an hour ago. Teddy had fallen asleep when we were at Jewel, like in the carrier, we transferred him, he went back to bed. And then he woke up, and then it took so long for him to get settled again. Um, but it's all right, gave him all the lovins he needed. But now, it's 10 o'clock and I need to bake these biscuits. And they require sitting in the fridge for a half hour and then baking for almost an hour. So. It'll be later night than I expected doing this, but it'll be worth it, I hope. I will just link the recipe below. It's kind of a process that like needs tending to and it's my first shot at it and we only, this is, so the reason I'm making these now is because they call for real butter and we have real butter, but we want to get rid of our real butter. So I don't want to mess things up. So I'll just link the, the, the recipe below. It's great. Did you expect both of our children to take over an hour to go down to bed? No. Not at the same time? Which means that was almost like three hours of bed And attempts. we like didn't even, like we got the Valentine's Day candy, we didn't even have it because we were like, we're, we're setting ourselves up for success. It's all right. It happens. Yeah. At least it's a Saturday. And now, we got like to Tuesday like Tuesday night. I always think like we get to snuggle like in the moment it's always hard and then like you just think like we get that time where our children's comfort. Yeah, I didn't even get to ask you because I went straight into putting James down like mm -hmm. how it was with Teddy because with James I was with him for over an hour but he was like chill. He wasn't like super snuggly but he was just like sitting next to me. Teddy was just fighting like, it. Like Hi. <laughs> that's what his new favorite thing I was the like, cashier at, the like cashier he would sit up and like hi <laughs> I think he knows it's like a greeting now um Teddy would be like chill and then like would fight it so it was like 50 50 okay so this I made so these good. cheers cheers I'll uh, like I said I'll link it below let's see we don't know how what they taste like to know but say if they're good or not I need you to make me a box of these every morning Biscuits with the boss. They're so good. Not that I'm the boss. This is um, this is like butter cookies, like our family's like Italian yeah. Christmas. It's basically the same thing, mm -hmm. but yeah. it worked out that this? we perfectly had um, like the half pan because I made a half batch. Oh, good. Yeah. 
Jeff. Who's gonna love it? James. And Teddy. Yeah, the consistency is like perfect. I can like see Rebecca being like. <laughs> it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.